All right, gals, are you ready? It's a great morning, it's a beautiful day, and we got treats for both the Frenchie and the English. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you. I know you're starving to death, clearly. Un Unbelievable. I mean, it really is just unbelievable. These bulldogs have been eating and eating and eating so much for years and they have never gotten a job to help pay for anything. It's ridiculous. Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. As always, we are about to go pick up the LBZ Duramax. It's already done with the color matched lighting. And after that, we have a really cool, entertaining, and I think educational upload for you guys that you will enjoy, I hope. Thank you for the ride. Appreciate it. What are you guys doing over there? See, you, you never know what you're gonna find at Shane's. I come around the corner and it's a gigantic, what is this, a dump truck? Jeez. Triaxle, gigantic truck. Let's go check out this truck and see what we're dealing with here. Necessary modification to the truck because those, whatever headlight kit the previous owner installed, just was not good at all like like really really cheap and bad it looks like something you got off of ebay and they didn't work i had as you guys know i had one headlight out for the longest time beaver actually switched over the high beams to the low beams when he had it so we actually we had lights so it we looked legal but it wasn't the right <laughs> lighting setup and now we actually have a proper lighting setup these are in fact full color match so the whole inside of the light is color matched to the truck actually i forgot that i didn't i actually totally forgot i didn't get the full uh thing i just wanted like a half to make it a little different from the other sets i've gotten and that looks really cool and that's controlled with a button i went with a button this time because the remotes are good but a lot of times those little remotes are a little finicky sometimes they work sometimes they don't this way we can always use the lights it's gonna look epic at night so we can use them as like a showpiece or a daytime led running light whatever you want i'm sorry for the wind noise it was a little bit windy out there but now we can take the lbz home all right guys and the lbz is back at home now if you happen to be new to the channel you don't know who i am and you just found this video uh this is my my giveaway truck my 2007 lbz duramax that i'm building up and at the end of february i will be picking a winner i would pick up this truck in the intro because we are talking about giveaways and let's get into this upload right now anytime i do a video about the dark not really the dark side of youtube but like the underbelly of youtube where i talk about like youtube ad revenue or or anything else it always does really well the last time i made a video like this i think it has almost 800,000 views so that tells me that people really like to know this stuff and i think giveaways are the big thing now that people don't know about i, I think it's generally most people understand that you can make money on youtube and kind of how the algorithm works a little bit nobody really knows exactly how it works but you know if you have more views and more watch time you get more money all that but one big thing on youtube and on the internet in general now is car giveaways and i think this video is going to be really 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 good for two main reasons number one because there are so many giveaways out there and i think a lot of people don't know the process and don't know the behind the scenes. They don't know how the industry works. And number two, if there are so many out there, I don't want to see people get taken advantage of and I want people to be educated. It just makes sense. That's a great segue to dive right into what we're talking about. I can't even get on Facebook anymore without seeing like what seems like 15 to 20 more ads all saying like, hey, we're giving a, a company that I've never heard of, don't know anything about them. Hey, we're giving away this vehicle. And usually... It's something pretty cool. It could be like a an eighty thousand dollar truck. It could be uh, a supercar that's a couple hundred grand. And just after doing this for a couple of years now and building this business from the ground up, which is what we've done at Inchain Designs, Shane and I. I mean, we have built this giveaway company from the ground up. And knowing what I know about it and how to do it legitimately, you'll understand as well after the info I give you today. I am extremely skeptical of a lot of these companies. I'm not saying this so that you enter mine. You know, if you want to, that's great. But there are a lot of legitimate ones out there. Somebody who lives close to me, Dirty Max Jack, he gives away trucks for real. He gives away diesel trucks 
Um, it's easy for me to verify that and know that it's real because he lives in the same town as me. So we're basically the same town. So I know that's legit. So, you know, he does awesome truck giveaways uh, like Diesel Power Gear on Discovery Channel with the Diesel Brothers. Theirs are legit. Uh, Speed Society, I've heard great things. Evan Shanks. There are a lot of good ones out there. Don't think that I'm just saying, well, don't believe anything else. So you buy mine. Like I said, if you want to enter for mine and you want to win this truck, fantastic if not you can there's a lot of other ones to pick from but yes i am very skeptical of a lot of these companies and here's the bad part there really is not a whole lot of regulation there is regulation like we pay five to ten thousand dollars every time we do a giveaway just for the legal stuff and knowing that knowing that we pay five to ten grand every single time I can tell you there's a lot of little channels out there that I guarantee you are not, not even channels, but little companies and everything else. It might not even be on YouTube. I can tell you that I doubt, I seriously doubt they're paying the five to $10,000 to, to write up the legal stuff and to hire a, a sweepstakes company and do it the right way, the right legal way. I very much doubt that. So yes, that's how you do it legally. It's not like the FBI has the resources to track down all these little companies that start up and then they change names and then some else, you know, and local law enforcement doesn't. So it might be illegal and you might think to yourself like, well, they wouldn't get away with it. There are a lot of little companies out there that could really skate by and the police and like nobody's really, I don't think anyone's really monitoring this. I don't think the government has the resources. And if they get, you know, a call and they get a tip and they investigate a little bit, all, the, all they have to do is kind of shut down the company, go dark for a while and they can start again. So don't think that because it's online and because there are laws, don't think that there aren't people out there skating those laws. Big red flags for me, and you'll think the same thing after I give you all our numbers. The big red flags are a really expensive car or a lot of stuff going on. Now it could be like they have fine print that says, oh, we only give away the car when we reach a certain number. I don't know how it all works, but again, just be really careful. But when I see a company like we're giving away a $200,000 car, that's a red flag because I can tell you to make any type of even small profit on a $200,000 car, they're going to probably have to do at least 600 to 800 grand in gross sales, if not a million to make like anything and to make any decent amount of money that's going to keep a company afloat that has employees and everything else. So there's no way when I see a, a small company that gets 100 likes on Facebook, Oh, we're giving away, we're giving away a two hundred thousand dollar car. There's no possible way I can tell you. Like my channel's pretty big, good size, right? Great audience. We do great giveaways. We have never even gotten halfway to a million to a million dollars in gross sales. Um, so when I see a company claiming to give away these ridiculous cars and, and all the time doing this stuff and fifty thousand dollars cash and a hundred thousand cat all this stuff, there's no way. That's working, there is no way. Another big red flag is charity. Now, this is kind of a gray area because you can do this and it's like legal and it's legit, but not in my mind, it's immoral more so than it's illegal or a scam. But when you see somebody like for charity, for example, I give thousands of dollars a year to different charities, uh, a lot of animal charities and like cancer charities because there's cancer in my family and I love animal dogs as you guys know. But I would never like give 5% or 10% and then tell you guys, oh, well, it's a charity giveaway, so buy my stuff. I just feel like that's taking advantage of people and I don't like it. So if you do that, I guess it's okay. You know, it's, it's kind of a gray area, but then there are, so that's all right if you give like a percentage, but there is again, no regulation on that percentage. I'm sure legally you have to give a certain percent to call yourself a charity giveaway, but I don't, again, I don't think anyone's tracking that down. No one's gonna get caught if they say this is for charity and it's really not. And then you have people just, that just straight up lie and say it's for charity and they never give any and there's no way to track whether they, whether they do or not. Uh, you don't know how much, what percentage it is. It could be 1%, which is ridiculous. So whenever I see a charity, you know, giveaways are a for-profit business. Make no mistake, it's a for-profit business. When I see that, it's a red flag. And I could easily say the same thing. You know, I could donate a portion because I do donate my own income. So I could say, oh, you know, I'll give 5% and now it's a charity. And a lot more, I'm sure a lot more people would buy if they thought they were helping a cause. But if you wanna help a cause, just donate to the cause. Skip the middleman who's taking 99% of the money. So I see that as a big red flag and that's not something I like. That's always something that has kind of rubbed, uh, rubbed me the wrong way. I don't like the whole charity aspect. I think if you're doing a charity, that's great. 
but it should be a charity. There should be no profit involved. I've done charity events and car events and it's for it's all 100% for charity. I don't call it a charity event unless it's actually for that. Uh, like my ZR1, I just want a car show. That's for charity. I'm not taking like that 1500 bucks I'm donating to charity. I'm not taking 1400 and donating 100 and saying, oh, it was for charity, Here, vote for my car. So <laughs> I just, when I see that, I don't like that either. Although I, I think it's a gray area, there are, instances where there's nothing wrong with like also donating a little bit to a charity but i think it's it's i just feel like it's really crummy boys now you made it to the good stuff i'm gonna give you my numbers for the biggest giveaway we have ever done and that was what do you think it was do you think it was the gladiator or the c5 the c7 the other c7 or the mustang well, it was the Neon Corvette. That was the biggest one we ever did. Uh, so the other ones were, were a little bit smaller. And that car generated just over $480,000 in gross sales. Love to know in the comments, are you guys shocked by that number? Would you think it would be lower or higher? But that is gross sales. So that's before anything is taken out. That's just how much we sold total product of everything. So when I told you guys that like, if you're giving away a $200,000 car, uh, you would have to do a lot in sales you would have to do a lot in sales because we haven't even gotten to the nitty gritty yet and i'm going to show you how that money breaks down so 480k in total sales well number one you got to pay for the car the car is about eighty-five thousand bucks. Uh, plus we did a few little modifications to it so i think total about 85 grand right there there goes 85. so if you did gross sales of 500k which is a great number and your car is 200 grand you know, that's huge. You're not gonna find anyone to give you a car for advertising or for charity or anything else. No, Lambo's not gonna give you a $200,000 car to give away and just, well, hopefully they give the money to the right place. Never gonna happen. We had about $180,000 in inventory and that's everything. That's key tags, knives. I mean, we had a knife bill that was like 30 grand just in knives. Um, we had sweatshirts, all that stuff. It's about $180,000. So again, to make all that money in sales, like to make 480 grand in sales, you have to have a lot of inventory. So that's a lot of, and the margin on shirts is not great. Uh, the margin on key tags is pretty good because that's like, you know, they're like a dollar or so to make and you sell them for 10. So those are okay. But like shirts aren't that great. So you have, if you're gonna do 300, 400 grand in shirts, that's like 250 to 300 grand in inventory just to have them there. So it's really expensive. Like merchandise is not cheap. Anybody will tell you, if you look at the margins for Target or I don't even know who sells, I don't buy clothes, whoever sells clothes, the margins on clothes are not great. So again, when I see companies saying like, oh, we're giving away this car and all they have is t-shirts for sale, well, they gotta be selling millions of freaking t-shirts to, to make any money. And if they're selling millions of t-shirts, that's millions of dollars in inventory. So 180 grand in total inventory. And then you have to run a whole business. In Shane Designs, which started as a wrap shop, during the giveaways essentially functions as just a fulfillment giveaway company. We have the lease for the building, we have power, we have water, air conditioning, all that stuff. That's not too bad. It's usually around like 10 to 15 grand for during the giveaway period. But the big cost is employees. You got four to five employees, sometimes six, working five or six days a week between 10 to 20 dollars depending on who it is and what they're doing 10 to 20 dollars an hour that can be usually around 20 to 50 thousand dollars per giveaway period just an employee cost you guys remember back to the first couple of giveaways it was not great it was not an efficient process the website crashed all the time we spent forty thousand dollars on all the it stuff the servers if you ever look in shane's office when i'm filming you can see the whole uh like like a cabinet full of servers about 40 grand on that and the it department to actually get the website working we have a dedicated it guy who gets paid a good salary as well so there are so many costs and again this is all stuff you need if you're gonna if you're gonna operate a business at this scale there's no way to get around like there's no way we couldn't spend all this because we have to if you're gonna operate a business on this scale you have to operate a facility like this it's the only way to do it the biggest giveaway we did the most successful one we've had where we did almost 500 grand in total sales we made about 80k and that split now i'm not going to sit here and complain about however you know forty thousand dollars in two months i'm very fortunate i've told you guys many times you know i'm not from a family with money like i like i never thought i would live 
a life where I get to make videos with cars. I get to do what I love every day and that's worth more than than any money in the world. I, I get to do what I love. So I'm not complaining about 40 grand, believe me. I'm sure you can tell it costs a lot of money to run a channel like this. You know, I go out and buy the next one and I'm doing other stuff and it's, it's expensive. There's a lot less than I think a lot of people think. And I either run into people on the street and I tell them like what I do and they're like, how do you afford to do that? So it's a for-profit business and you can see it makes a profit. But then there's the other side where people say like, oh, you know, you're making a million dollars. If I would listen, if I was making a million bucks off of these, I would have a huge house. I would have a million cars. I wouldn't have sold my McLaren because it was too expensive uh, to keep around. You know, it's crazy the divide. People either think like there's no way they make a dime or you know, we make a million dollars and neither one is the case. So that's, those are the real numbers and, and that's everything that goes into it. I think a lot of people would be, are gonna be very surprised to hear that. Believe it or not, that's a pretty good number. If you look up online and just search like, what's a good total profit margin for a business, 10 to 20% is pretty good. So if you think 480K total sales, 20% is what, about 90, uh, like 95 grand. And so we're not far off. 20% profit and that's good for a business, but that's what it takes to make that money. You can, t I mean, it's a lot of cost. And that isn't the full story because 40 grand might seem like a lot, but that goes right into like the channel. And you know, I'm sure you guys understand that it takes a lot of money to run what I do. I mean, it, it takes a lot of money. So even that is not like, oh, 40 grand, put it in my pocket. Absolutely not. <laughs> it goes pretty much right back into everything that you watch. Hope you guys found it interesting. Those are the real numbers behind the scenes. And again, keep an eye out for other companies out there that just, it doesn't, if it doesn't seem right, it probably ain't. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys.